Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the per route navigation guard that is before enter. Now let's move on to the another topic in the navigation guards that is in component navigation guard. So how we can, if you want to write the navigation guard in the component itself, so how we can write it. So in Vue.js, there is also a provision for adding the in component navigation guards. So normally we will be having three navigation guards so we will be having three options we can have so first one is the before route enter and next one is a before route update and the last one is the before route leave so if you are following the options api and all those things all the three navigation guards will be valid but if you are using the composition api only the before route update and also the before route leave only will be available before route enter so we can use this before route enter technically what i can say is before route enter means nothing but here we can write it directly for example check for access i can have here um, check for access let's say so this is the method i am having so i can write a function here so i can write a function something like function check for access so here you will be having the like this and you will check that if uh, so you can redirect so router router dot push of uh, what i can say so router dot push uh, to path home page so let's say i will be pushing it to home page now whenever the user comes to the articles page so it will be automatically redirected to the home page so technically we can see it like this so normally we don't have anything if i if i am in the about page if i click on the post page uh let's say that if i have saved it right yeah check for access we are having and this one is also running let's refresh this page so that we can have so now if i refresh this page um, what it is having if i click here it is going to the article space still so why it is going to the article okay i think that um, we are having some oh here we are having this auth routing right before enter we have written it for the home page see it is when i am clicking on this about page if i click on the post page it will redirect to the home page so like this we can have it uh, for the post page so we can write it or otherwise if you want to implement this one uh, what i can say is before route enter if you want particularly before route enter means what we can do is in the post dot view uh, we can remove this one so technically how it will be is so here you will be having the script method and in the script method so we can remove this all the code so in the options api it will be valid so you can write a separate options api and in this one you can write before route enter and this this has to and from and in this to and from uh, what I can say so you can do it so whatever the thing you want you can do it so here I will write console.log uh, what I um, before route enter so will it will it find or not let's see now if I go into this one and if I go to the about page and if I click on the post page see before each has been executed which is a global before each and before root enter also has been executed so like this we will be writing before route enter the technically what i can say is in our composition api we don't have that before route enter if you want to implement before route enter means you can use this uh, options api like script setup instead of writing in the options api you can write uh, instead of writing it in the composition api you can write it in the options api so this is one thing normally what we will try to do is so here so if you want to have a router navigation and all the things means so you will be able to have this console.log uh, this dot dollar router so this will be available so here you can navigate or you can push it to wherever you want you can push it i will show you so if i click on the about page and if i click on the post page now you will be able to see oh, this dot uh, dollar router is not available or what something like that this dot router or this dot dollar router i didn't remember exactly uh, we are not following this one right so this dot router or this dot dollar router which one i didn't remember exactly so we can refer to that one if you want We'll check it afterwards so this is not the topic we are learning about this composition api right so we can have it like this and we can do it uh, and another one which i want to discuss you is the so this is about the before route enter thing so technically in the composition api we don't have the before route enter we have only two options available that is before on before route leave and on before route update so what is the difference between these two so now first one what we'll try to learn is the on before route leave on before route leave so this one should be imported from the view router and here if i try to do so we it will be taking a callback method 
so you will be having a to and from for this one and you can have here on before route leave so here you can write on before route leave so this is the method which we will be writing so on before route leave if i show you the example what is this happening okay, here okay get some remove some of the code yeah on before route leave if, if i try to check it if i click on the post page so we will go to the post page and if i am navigating away from the post page to the about page so here on before route leave first it will fire then afterwards entering before each which is here on before each which which we are executing these are all the things it will fire okay so this on before route leave so this one will be fired whenever we are navigating away so called when the route that renders this component is about to navigate away from so as with the before route uh, so <clears throat> So this is the before route loop. and we have an another one also before route update so what is this before route update for example let's say we are having a single post hope that we are having a single post right single post yeah so this single post you, you this is a correct example so here you can write on before route update so let's see whether we are able to get it or not on before route update yeah here on before route update it will take again a callback function to and from okay to and from and if you see here console.log so when it will fire let's see console.log on before route update so whenever you are changing the route when you are existing the component is existing for example let's say that we are in the post so here if you try to see if i click on the view post so here you will be able to see if I click on the view post here. See, we are able to see on before route update here. So whenever this already we are existing on the same routing, but the params are changing. Whenever the params are changing, change. So this on before route update will be fine. So that means so what we can do it instead of writing this watch effect and all those things. So whenever we are getting this one, so you can fire this get post here. So you can fire this get post here also instead of using this watch effect also. So the same thing we can achieve it using this on before route update now if you try to see so here you can directly call it with the git post just like the watch of it how you are calling so now if i try to refresh this page so we are in the article slash four uh, get post and all those things okay so first we need to call the get post outside so watch effect doesn't call it right so we need to call this get post now and also we need to call on before route update afterwards after this one has been declared let's see whether it will work or not so let's refresh this page form is returned and all those things it is having post.view in the post.view we are having some error why in the post.view we are having some errors i haven't did anything right mm, checked uh, and all those things we are having okay unmounted inject of post data so, okay fine let's let's go to the about page and let's go to the post page yeah so that one is because of the before result so we have used this path dot match is equal to is equal to articles only right if you go to the here so we have used this includes articles only then like this we have used it right so because not this one sorry here we have used only the articles right so if you use this includes path dot includes the articles so that means if you have these articles and all those things then only it needs to be called so you can write it like this also so this is also okay fine so now so because of this reason we got this error so okay fine let's see the other we are able to uh, now if i click on the view post so we are able to get it and if i refresh this page now also it will work so previously we got the error right now it will work now on before route update also we are able to get this one working perfectly right so i think it is working perfectly no it's not working it's not working i don't know it is happening so we are calling this in the single post uh, get post on before route update so we are calling this get post right so get post we are calling props dot id props dot id we are calling hmm. what could be the issue okay fine so maybe that uh, props dot id is not getting update i think so we can send here two dot params dot id so if you want you can send here and here we can take this id and we can uh, check this id most probably okay id 
and here we can take this props dot id if you want to send it most probably it will work i think so this is the only issue so most probably this could be the only issue so if i click on this view to see new now it's working fine right so that is why because so we are trying to access it from the props dot id right by the time when we are trying to see this on pro before route update the props is not getting updated so here in the two we will be having the exact uh, id right so we are sending this id so like this we can use instead of using the watch effect what i am trying to say is instead of using this watch effect we can also use this before route update in order to react to the params changes so this is what i will try to do so these are all the navigation cards which are available in the components which you can write it in the components so first one is the on before route enter and on before route loop and on before route update so these are the different ways how you will be writing in composition api most probably will be using on before route loop and also on before route update hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also what i will try to do is i am i will be creating this one in a video iphone 65 so whoever you will be having the doubts and all those things so you can refer to this branch um, component route guards here these are component route guards these are all the different navigation guards which are available in the view router so probably this is all about the view router concept so some more little bit concepts are there which i will cover it very quickly and we will move on to the state management thing next so whoever have the doubts and all those things so you can refer to by github link which is available the github link is provided in the description below for every video so you can check out this one so here the branch also will be committed whatever the video you are trying to see it you can refer to this particular branch in order to get that particular video code so that's it guys so in the next video we will see about the another concept in the view router so uh, if anybody did not subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you